So about two weeks ago, I did a first impression of a decant that I got in, a brand new release in 2023 by the House of Goldfield and Banks. It's Ingenious Ginger. I've worn it all through my decant and I was waiting for my full bottle to arrive. When I got it in, they actually sent me Sunset Hour and uh, it wasn't the right one, obviously, so I couldn't do the full review. I had to send that back to them and then send me the right one. So today we're gonna to be doing the full review after a bunch of wearings of one of my new favorite releases of the year, Ingenious Ginger by the House of Goldfield and Banks. So without further ado, let's get it. What's going on my great smelling dudes? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Randy, AKA Fragrance Dude. Thank you guys so much for joining your dude again for another brand new release in 2023 and a full review. Before we get into it, slap that like, subscribe, and then also comment so we can put it on the algorithm. And then if you want my video sooner, hit the bell. So what's interesting about this video is I'm gonna be recording, editing, and then posting all within the same half hour because my daughter had this area for the last three days painting this giant concrete witch head. So I couldn't record any of my videos. So you guys are gonna be getting this right after I review it. So hopefully it comes out good, but you guys don't care about that. You wanna know about fragrances. Hopefully you wanna know about this one. This one is a brand new release in 2023. I did my full uh, first impression two weeks ago, got the full bottle in by the Australian perfume house of Goldfield and Banks. It is ingenious ginger. Uh, so I am wearing this as my scent of the day. I just sprayed it on my left hand. So. Ingenious Ginger, this is what the bottle looks like. I didn't show you in the first one. Do not pick it up from the cap. They do not stick on there, but it is a nice cap. It just doesn't stick on. The um, atomizer, really nice. Has a nice widespread flow. Um, the rest of the bottle looks the same as all the other ones. You guys probably know this brand from Pacific Rock Moss, uh, Bohemian Lime. This is the first warm fragrance for fall and winter that I've ever tried, uh, but Again, this is Goldfield and Banks Ingenious Ginger. On the front, it says Ingenious Ginger. It says Atherton, Tropical Australia, Goldfield and Banks. And then it doesn't have like Eau de Parfum or anything. It just says Perfume Spray 3.4 ounce. I think it runs 185 or 190 retail. I got this for 115 as a tester from Venba Fragrance. They accidentally sent me Sunset Hour, which is more feminine, but it's actually quite a nice fragrance. I sent it back. They sent me this one. Um, so now we can finally review it. I have worn through the entire decant, so I've worn it six times now. And the fragrance is just as good as I remember from the original time I wore it until now. Uh, I actually think I might like it better. I told you I heard about this. You guys, I think it was released earlier this year in like March or April. And when you guys found out about it, you were telling me how much you loved it. I knew I was gonna pick it up right before fall. I got it about a month ago, maybe three weeks ago. I ordered it. I got a decant because the bottle was still around 190 at that point. And I got the decant and I was like, you know what? I need to get a bottle of this. I asked the owner of Venba when he was getting it in. He got it in. They had a sale. Labor Day or whatever. I picked it up. And now we got the Ingenious Ginger. So this is a full uh, breakdown, all that. So I will give you the note breakdown. I'll also let you know what, season is, is, what seasons it's good for. If it's situational, I'll also let you know longevity, performance, all together, what it's like, because I have worn it. And I'll also let you know any of the siage, any little questions you guys might have, you can comment below. But anyway, let me start by giving you the note breakdown so you're familiar with the fragrance. So the top notes are ginger, flower, lemon, and bergamot. Mid notes are orange, magnolia, jasmine, and rose. Base notes are vanilla, cashmere, and amber, sandalwood, and musk. You obviously are going to have some patchouli in this, just like almost every fragrance out there. I mean, obviously there's some that probably don't use it, but for the most part, there's a little bit of patchouli that rides through the fragrance. So Ingenious Ginger, what is it all about? First five minutes are different than the rest of the fragrance. When you first spray it on, it kind of smells. I told you that Justin Copeland, when I first reviewed this, he said it was like, he was the one who got me mostly interested in it. He said it was like a ginger beer with a... Uh, a like lemon pound cake or like a lemon cake and to me it's not as gourmand as he's saying that so I, at first i thought so but the more i wore it it doesn't really have that gourmandish aspect where it's more of a lemon cake and the lemon part of it really dissipates after about five minutes so when you first spray it on it is warm and it has a little bit of spice it's more warm it's that warm ginger 
And I think the main notes in this fragrance are going to be um, an amber that really overflows the fragrance after five minutes. And then you have this ginger mixed together with cashmere. It provides a sharp, but also warm, spicy, and then a sensual kind of just luxur luxury vibe and fizziness and effervescence. So what does that mean? It's almost like a ginger ale. And if you added lemon to it, I don't know if there is a such thing as a lemon ginger ale out there, but if there was, it would smell like this in the opening five minutes. It's more citrus than anything in that opening five minutes. You can smell the lemon. It's very fresh. It's very zesty. It has a slight zing to it. And then again, you have that ginger cashmere and mixture that really does give a spicy, warm, effervescent fizziness. That's kind of just what it smells like. And what does that smell like a ginger ale mixed together with lemon after five minutes as the lemon starts to dissipate and the amber and this woodiness starts to pull up you also get a little bit more spice that's not coming from the ginger um, you also through the mid for about five minutes you get some jasmine magnolia providing a small sweet white floral but it's really a nuanced note throughout the fragrance so not one that you need to pay attention to so again opening it's like a lemon ginger ale that's the best way to put it as you get further into the fragrance. So let's get ourselves into the dry down now. After we're getting into the dry down, it kind of gets more rich, warm, addictive from that amber really, again, encapsulating the fragrance. Then you have that ginger and cashmere note. The cashmere really does pull forward a little bit more. You get a little bit more warm and richness to turn that ginger ale into more of a ginger beer because you're also getting this warm and spiciness that you didn't really get in the opening even though you did have that from the ginger it's that amber that's coming in giving a little bit of warmth you get a little bit of spice that comes in i'm not sure what the spice is it doesn't smell like cinnamon or pepper or anything like that um let me see is there any notes to say that no i don't know i don't know what the spice is coming from i know the spices come from the ginger there's something else in here i don't know if it's cinnamon nutmeg saffron i honestly don't know it, it doesn't come off one way or the other it just has a bit of a spicy feeling to me and then you have just as all ginger fragrances have some kind of warm and lighter woods like sandalwood or cedar uh, this one has sandalwood so sandalwood comes in provides a smooth and creamy backbone and a slight woodiness to the fragrance while you have that it's ingenious ginger and it really is an ingenious ginger accord moving through the whole fragrance there's no synthetics to it it has a real vibe of luxury it's that man of class or woman of class because this is i would say unisex leaning masculine slightly but it is almost right in the middle of unisex so if you're somebody who doesn't like that kind of stuff i can understand why you wouldn't like it if you don't like unisex fragrances but this is lean, unisex leaning masculine ingenious ginger fantastic if you like the note of ginger it's one of my favorites again opening ginger ale with lemon i won't repeat that anymore as you get to the dry down it's more of a ginger cashmere and mixture amber encapsulating it you have a slight bit of spice this kind of silky woods from that sandalwood mixing underneath and then a little bit of just this and that underneath the whole fragrance but it really just reminds me of like a ginger beer with a slight gourmand edge really a fantastic fragrance this is going to be one that's going to be worn for the fall and winter and early spring depending on where you live if i'm going to say temperature i'm probably going to say anything maybe 55 and below maybe 60 and below this is a great temperature for the fragrance it's going to be more of a late day into night style fragrance but i can see during the cooler months wearing this to something like a wedding or something like that can you wear this to work probably not unless you under spray i would say it would be safe for work it would be safe but would i wear it to work personally with all the other fragrances i have no probably not i go with more fresh clean stuff like that but i don't think anybody's going to be offended by this fragrance um speaking of that if, uh, being offensive is it going to offend anybody as far as the performance well i can say when you first spray it on it's actually quite light it's a uh, like a moderate scent for the first like two to three minutes while it's in that ginger ale lemon stage but it's one of these ones that it starts to creep off your skin and become more of an above average fragrance and it stays there for about four hours and this fragrance actually gets me 
almost nine to 10 hours. It's actually a really, really good performer. I was surprised because of the other ones that I've tried from this house. The performance wasn't, it was very lackluster. Uh, this is from Pacific Rock Moss and Bohemian Lime. This one, eight to nine hours, uh, nine to 10 hours. On clothes, I sprayed it on my hoodie and it was two days later when I went back in to grab my hoodie because I wear my hoodies out to take my dog out at night and I put the hoodie on and I could still smell it. So that tells you it sticks to clothes pretty nicely and it doesn't stain even though it has this kind of brownish tint to it. Overall, the fragrance is a nice warm ambery scent. It has a slight tinge of vanilla in the fragrance, uh, just creeping in at about the hour mark. It's not like a heavy vanilla or anything. This is more of a ginger, cashmere, and sandalwood fragrance with amber around the outside. Some spice in there coming from the ginger and something else. And then lemon in the opening. It's a bit fresher in the opening, but it's more of a warm and spicy fragrance. Really nice, really classy. It is a very classy fragrance. Situational, I don't think. Um, it's a like a heavy situational fragrance like Pegasus or anything. I think it's kind of in the middle. It make your decision, but I think this is going to be a little bit more of like a um, not necessarily suit and tie. You can wear suit and tie. This is going to be probably business casual and up. I wouldn't wear this if you're like wearing gym shorts and a t-shirt. Like I wouldn't wear it for that. But I mean, wear it when you want. I think this is an amazing fragrance. I think that you guys should definitely try it out. I give it an 8.5 out of 10. I think it's a high class fragrance. I think this is definitely one I'm going to be wearing all this fall, putting it in a bunch of lists. Effervescent, very high quality. Absolutely love it. Let me know if you guys have tried this, what you think about it. But that is my full review of Ingenious Ginger by Goldfield and Banks. Make sure to comment below, hit the like so that we can put it on the algorithm. And I'll be back with another video. Thank you guys so much. Peace out.